somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back over there is diamond dave damone this is the appleton oak that's the answer i'm mason quinn folks today we are taking a look at 2009's district nine uh the only thing i know about this thing is that it's got some aliens in it uh beyond that no idea what i'm in for I know nothing about this except for no humans allowed, according to the, the poster and behind you. us. Oh, man. But I'm ready, willing, and able to find out what this movie's all about. No idea. <laughs> Never even, uh, I don't even know if I've heard of this film. <laughs> so, but hey, look, if you guys <laughs> recommended it, I'm all in. I remember hearing about it when it first came out, but just never piqued my interest. Now, over the last year, a lot of you have been requesting it and telling us it's can't miss. Can't miss. I'm gonna trust you on this one. <laughs> Let's go! Last year's corporate, my wife was always encouraging me, you know. She said, no, you did fine, you did fine in the corporate. I was a bit nervous. We are here at, uh, must I look? Don't get straight into the lens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the old Sony Vio. My name is Vikas van der Behind me, you can see other alien affairs workers. Alien affair workers? Oh. Yeah. Now, to everyone's surprise, the ship didn't come to a stop over Manhattan, coasted to a halt directly over the city of Johannesburg. Oh, okay. Hmm. South Africa. <laughs> yeah. The Damn. doors didn't open for three months. It just hovered there. Nobody could get in. Yeah. Ooh. They want to touch it? Our first contact. The whole world was watching, expecting music from heaven and bright shining lights. <laughs> 1982. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. oh, they're everywhere. Holy shit. They were very unhealthy. They seemed to be aimless. The entire world was looking at Johannesburg, so we had to do the right thing. We didn't have a plan. Oh, <laughs> what are these things? What is this? It was a temporary holding zone. Soon became fenced, became militarized. Well, the truth is nobody really knew what this place was. There's a lot of secrets in District 9. Nice, I like the... That is an interesting opening. Mm -hmm. Look how they're doing the, this. What kind of concept is this? They're spending so much money to keep them here. At least they're keeping them separate from us. Look all the signs everywhere. The aliens are here to stay. And what was speculated was that a command module had detached itself from the main ship and then somehow mysteriously become lost. For more energy weapon caches found the special task force. <laughs> what is going on? And people became more and more fed up, and eventually the rioting started. An attempt to remove all the aliens from their township. Oh, oh, holy this shit. documentary style they're doing is wild. Yeah. They must just go. I don't know where they go. And they must just go here. The aliens made up with an undisclosed amount of cash. And now, after 20 years, public pressure had forced the government to shift the aliens. 20 out. years? Yeah. Well, yeah, it said 1982 is when they first yeah. saw it. <sighs> the government turned to multinational United. Please listen very closely Here's to Dick this Chris. briefing. Today Dick we Chris? start a very complex <clears throat> and delicate operation. This is the largest operation. It is to move 1.8 million prawns from their uh, present home in District 9. 1.8 million? 1.8 We've built a nice new facility where the prawn can go, you can be comfortable. Give the aliens 24 hours notice of our right to evict. You will serve these notices, getting the aliens to sign the I-27 form. So I'm going to appoint a field officer to take direct command. I love the fact that the aliens are actually following like the laws and everything. He was a wonderful son. It was my Vickers, just... Um... Oh no. Vickers. Just like up on the big stage. I don't like that interview. No. She was talking like in past tense, too. Yeah. Vickers was always making me things. They took all his stuff away for the investigation. Investigation. So the father-in-law, yeah, I want to get rid of this guy, yeah. so I'm going to put him in charge of a dangerous operation. Huh? He took the choices that were given to him. Oh, what kind of turn are we taking? I'll make it. You can make it. I'll make it. I just want everyone watching this right now. To learn from what has happened. 
Why is he in orange yeah, prison like jail outfit? Going, man, a long time, mate. Eh? Yeah. You got my stuff. You see now. You feel the cowboy, is it? Oh, I see your pouches are full, but you speak very. I think maybe you speak to the colonel. Eh? FAG over here says that uh, we got too much uh, ammunition. You know, you should find ways of, of making your guys more efficient. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was going to say that looks like Chris Pine's brother, <laughs> or it could be a brother. Yeah, I don't think he can be forgiven for what he did. I'm really intrigued on how they did this documentary. Yeah, the style setup. Well, and the story has just been go, go, go. Take your magazines, people. Come on, let's go. We have to come there and say, listen, this is our land. Uh, please, will you, will you go? Please, will you go? Oh. Please. We're seeing heavily armed private security forces. Jeez. What are these guys doing? Oh, what a Ooh. genius way to kind of hide the CGI if there was any. Yeah, you're yeah. losing the, the grainy, graininess so of the yeah, news. The green of the TV here. You ready, Thomas? Yep. It's only the beginning of a total clampdown. <laughs> I'm just amazed that the, like you said, answer the aliens. <laughs> no, <laughs> like somewhat by. following yeah. laws, yeah. This is Vicky's father, Mather from Amy New. We are yet to serve you an eviction notice. You just put your school there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Now all the prawns are coming out. They want to see what's going on. What are you I doing? My foot. Don't shoot, man. You're going to turn it into a war zone. What is that? There's a tank. Get food. I just distract them. Well, this is a nice uh, uh, cat food, you know. But of course, he's not your house. Eh? So we'll just Look at the hat. Uh, it's got the... <laughs> oh, now he's saying it's his house. Out of the propeller. The creatures became incredibly obsessed oh. with cat food. Yeah, because they're aliens. Uh. Come on, come on. you, we are here to serve you fiction notices, okay? <laughs> well, yeah. They'd lost all of their upper uh, leadership through whatever cause, we presume illness. Uh. We got little aliens fighting each other? Yeah. yeah, look, oh, little young versions of them. It looks like, uh, almost like scorpions. Yeah, mixed with shrimp. The Nigerians had various scams going. One of them was the cat food scam, not to mention interspecies prostitution. And Whoa. they also uh, dealt in alien weaponry. That's, that's a boss there. Okay, no problem. All right, thanks. 766, all right. What is it? Check out on this one. Whoa. What is that? Check that side, Thomas. 50 eggs in here. It looked like oh, it eggs. Home. You can take that. You want to keep it as a souvenir for your first abortion, eh? Whoa. Uh, what the egg does is it, 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 it pops up. Train, train, look at this. <laughs> this weapon's all over here. Ooh. Whoa. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. MNU is the second largest weapons manufacturer in the world. We assume that we'd be able to pick up the alien laser gun and just be able to shoot. It just doesn't work with humans. And it's as simple as that. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Hmm. They can't take their technology yeah. and turn it into their own military technology. He's saying, I've killed three humans. Watch out for me. You're uh. right on your own bloody... Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh. Thanks very much. Yeah, no, he had uh, a spike. I will say this guy keeps a cool head under pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. A fluid. Their own fluid. What are these guys making? Well, this is the fluid. Oh. The, uh, what plan? Over 20 years worth. I assume it has something to do with the ship then, right? When possibly or is taking this a plan over. to take over now? Hello? Um, we would like you to please... <laughs> Nobody is here. Get outside! Move! 
Look at that. Chemistry type of a set. Uh oh. This is fun. Oh, he oh, found it. Found it. So it, it's definitely alien, not a weapon. But I don't trust it. You know, I don't trust anything. With... Oh, oh no no no. Oh. Because you're right. Eh? Got it. Got it. Oh, all over his mouth and his nose, eyes. You're gonna just you're gonna cut that part, okay, Twin? Out with it. So we just check that in and we take that down nicely to the lab. Uh is it though? Is it a some biological virus weapon or something? This guy I've never seen. Have you seen this thing? What gun is this? This is Is he gonna be able to shoot it now? I'm not gonna use it, man. It doesn't even work with humans. It might now oh, because of yeah. him getting that stuff on him. Have a look there. See that? What's that? That's a hiding for you. Oh! Oh, shit! What is... Pick us! Come here! You don't run away from the chopper. Speak off. Oh! Gwervis, the base, come in. No, that's fine, Gwervis. I, I don't need the medvac. <laughs> just get it checked out. I'll just have it treated by the meds. Uh, well. <laughs> oh, Dude, this is crazy. I don't even know what to think. Are you hot? Are you guys hot? Are you hot, Twin? Oh boy, he's getting uh, a fever. Yep. He's getting a fever. And they showed that clock on there when they recorded him, too. There's just kids everywhere. There's kids everywhere. Hello, little guy. Him and you. Yes, a sweetie for you. Okay, there you go. Works like a charm every time. You know? Oh, jeez. <laughs> we require your scroll on this eviction notification. We're not even going to charge you. Okay? Yeah. Sign the fucking paper. Huh. He's, he's a little sharper. Ah, a little sharper. Seems like we didn't understand each other there properly. Eh? Well, you see this litter out here. This is dangerous conditions. Because your child is living in dangerous conditions, I'm going to take him down to child services. Thomas, Thomas, keep the gun on him. He's definitely a criminal. These, these are obviously, you can see, stolen computers now. Hello, there's a sweet man. Oh, here we go. We're waiting for it. <laughs> oh, oh, he's throwing it everywhere. Oh, whoa. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Did he pick up on anything of that? I don't know. Or is he just like thinking lucky that the alien there? Yeah, oh, the alien, yeah, I think so. Actually, Quiz, just pull up there on the side. I just want to get something to eat here. Gunther's. Get something to eat? I think I just need it to cleanse you, no? <laughs> because that's, that's, that's uh, the black stuff coming up your nose there. Oh. Uh, that's oh, not blood. Boy. That's not blood. <laughs> What did he get himself into with that stuff? Some kind of virus or chemical warfare? Ah, uh, they wanted to take out the whole human race. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what's this? Oh! Ah! Oh, Why is his fingernail on, coming off? Man. The whole fingernail? Oh, God. Mm. Don't, 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 do no, that. no, 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 no. Why, what are you doing that for? Why oh, is he I... trying to pull him off? Oh. Why is he doing that? <laughs> why? Why is he what doing is... that? Mm. <laughs> why? Do not. Oh. <laughs> is that Ed 209? <laughs> Robocop. Looks like... Looks like it almost. We got Bumblebee there. I was in hundred as if it was one hundred. One in a thousand, they settled for a hundred. Oh, yes. Muti is a South oh. African word. Today, it's synonymous with witch doctrine and magic. This is your heart. Choose high blood when you boil it. Choose sugar, diabetes, all diseases. Are gonna start harvesting them? They believed by doing so, they were ingesting their power. You must eat them. Just pretend, ah. it's, just pretend it's lobster. The bug. Dude, what a wild ride we've been on so far. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. No. 
Oh, baby. Hi, baby. I need to get to the toilet. Listen, I might have crapped in my pants. Oh. oh. Oh, no. Since he's contaminated, can he spread it? Right. Dad, how is it going? Well, we saw the mom later, or, or earlier, well, so. We saw his mom later, so. Guys, can you give us a moment, please? What happened out there? Listen to me. Too many aliens died out there today. UIO is all over my backside. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna shit himself. Lucas? <laughs> Baby, are you okay? Pretty far from okay. He was eating his fingernails. Holy crap, look at his eyes. <laughs> Oh, oh no, not on the all the desserts are ruined. Um ten o'clock so seven hours since yeah. Yeah. contamination. It's a lot of suppuration. Fluid coming out of my nose and sort of a black vomit. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. He's turning into an alien. Yeah. That's what their fluid's going to do. It's going to turn everybody into them. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, oh, guys, I don't... We've watched a lot of... This is hard on the stomach. That... That was pretty graphic. Would have expected it to the antibodies to oh, oh they they got it. it it's gonna happen isn't it oh it's gonna go in her eyes oh that's oh. gonna need crazy time lapse 16 hours all right pain threshold test one DBX pain threshold and oh, that's a strong pain reaction that means the nerves have fused b5 oh, i gotta see if you can oh, use that really there that's the first thing they think is weapons testing yeah yep Oh, they gotta be. Oh, I don't even know. What are you doing? And fire! Oh, it works. Now where my wife is. Do you know if my wife knows where I am? We're just gonna have them use all the guns. You gotta be kidding me. Oh! That works too. These guys are thrilled! These guys. Oh, yeah. Can we get my guy some hearing protection? Oh, they're gonna now a live test. I'll shoot the pitch again for you. I'll pull the trigger, but I'm not. I'm not. I want to do This is. No. This is pure torture. Three, two, one. Oh. Amazing. His DNA is in perfect balance between alien and human. As the infection spreads, the transition becomes permanent and less active. We harvest from him what we can right oh. now. Hundreds of millions, maybe billions of dollars worth of money. Of course, he's thinking money. Yep. What about next of kin? Please help me. Don't, don't do it. I'll handle that. I'll handle the next of kin. I say let's go. Good. Thank you. I don't understand. He just hurt his arm, Dad. The doctors are trying, sweetheart. Doing their best to save him. Yeah. We're harvesting. Oh. Oh, my God. You need to get the heart out as quickly as possible. Don't touch him, No, Vickers, he never was very strong. Oh, jeez. Oh. Can I see him? Oh! He's oh. oh. got some extra strength. Yeah. Well, well now the beginning's starting to make sense. Yep. Dude, these shots are wild. Mm -hmm. Who edited this film? Because <laughs> it's... So I wonder if he's going to go back to try drink. to go back to the place where he got yeah. that tube from and try to find out what it was. You need to let go of him now. Well, you he was weak that. anyway. <laughs> That's what he said. Well, yeah, you're just going to believe everything Daddy Dearest says. Smith. We have a problem. <laughs> he's out. <laughs> Get Corbus. Maybe I should just wait to the end of the movie to see if it happens, but like if he took that, that spray hit him, right? Got contaminated. Yeah. Wouldn't him spitting That's what I thought it would get that's kind of what I have. Yeah. contaminate more. That's what but I'm waiting he's, for. But he swallowed it. He ingested it. Yeah. Got in oh, look mouth. at him eating anything. He can Everybody find else it. that didn't go he just they're in the area of it. They didn't stole a cell phone. 
got his hand in a bag. <laughs> what are all these people doing in my house? The most valuable business artifact on Earth. He was the only human who had ever been combined with alien genetics and remained alive. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> We interrupt this program to bring uh -oh. breaking news. Vickers van der Merwe was recently apprehended after a prolonged sexual activity. Oh, oh, what? Oh. They went there. Yeah. Oh, boy. Freaking everybody out. Yeah, what, what would be the easiest way to get people to turn him in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lie and say that he was having sex. Oh, Jesus. Hold oh, on. Shit. Oof. How f how crazy this movie turned from evicting aliens into the, now the story is 100% him turning into one. Yep. There's no sign as of yet of Mr. Van der He was on every radio station, every image on television. He ended up hiding in the one place he knew no one would ever come looking for him. District 9. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a guy on the run. Imagine waking up and you're hoping it's a bad dream. And yeah. oh, he's gonna be looking. Oh, for he's food. gonna be after the cat food now. Oh, oh, that's oh nasty. man. I'd like to buy some meat, please. Yeah, have you got a hamburger or uh, you know steak roll? Does it look like a hamburger? <laughs> oh, cat food. Oh, oh, oh look God. at him just going to town. Oh. He likes it. Oh. Hey, Mikey, he likes it. <laughs> oh, he's going nuts for oh, it. Oh. Look at him just digging oh. in there. No. Was that one of his teeth? Yeah, it yeah. is. I'm so happy you called me, baby. I have something to say to you. It's not gonna be easy. No, no, okay, look, look, listen, baby, before you say anything, your father, he's, he's, he's working against me, baby, he's lying to you. I can't do this. Baby, please, don't, don't give up on me, you know? I'm gonna fix my arm and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you again and I'm gonna kiss you and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna hold you again. I don't want you to call Ooh. But, baby? So you gonna chop it off? Uh, yep, that's what he's gonna do. Oh god. I'm gonna pull a rig grind. Yep. Now I'm gonna need a 45 degree angle. Kinda like a salami slice. We got some great doctors. <laughs> <clears throat> See going through the scenario of Oh! Oh! oh. oh. I think you wanna do a test run. Yeah. See how bad it would hurt. Oh look at his is his other hand changing? Oh, oh look at all the helicopters no. coming. Wait, did, did I see miss something on his other hand? It looked it's like he had some black to, marks on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they traced his cell phone. Yeah. Oh, look who's back. Look who's back. I need your help. He's going to show. Show. They want to kill me. All right. I just need to hide it so for four, five minutes. Oh, is so he going to start understanding it? What are you doing here? I remember you. <laughs> He's going to finally see the arm. Yep. You're going to go for a little fall. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> when I said yeah. that, I was just thinking like, you know, like a little. Yeah, oh, quick, there was a little pause was like, there yeah. before, he, before he hit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't have it. Yeah. No fluid here. Fluid in the glass, glass container. And the guys at the lab took it. It's, it'll be at the, the MNU. MNU has it. <laughs> what is this part of this has got to be part of the ship? Look at that thing in the background. That's the part that dropped That's the on ship must, that came must have been. Yeah. Must have fell underneath ground. The control underground unit yeah. that jumped off the ship. He's been trying oh, to fix yeah. it. Oh yeah. This whole thing's un under your shack. I mean, this is. This is a fine, you know. He's like, Are you little <laughs> trying to start this and, and get away, eh? Oh. What? 
You can turn this 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 brown hand into into a human hand. I mean, you can make me human again. Oh, so now we gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, now we gotta go and get the uh, oh, the fluid. Hmm. How much you time does he have left? Uh. I always thought the brawns were intelligent. You know. Right, right. Okay, it's it's four stories underground. Four stories underground. Why does he keep looking at me like this? <laughs> Yeah, and, and what then? Then we both die, eh? All right, that's a suicide mission, man. Can you not fool my head with that sort of nonsense? Hey, you have the power to use their weaponry to yep. get back in there. Yep. Uh, that's a good point, but he yep. has to get it. Uh, well, they had a well, lot they of have all there. that weapons there, too, uh, though. I didn't even think. Look yep. at the answers all over it. Oh, he can, answers putting the puzzle pieces <laughs> together. He can use their massive weaponry. That yep. could work. Because they have a bunch of it still stacked. Yep. Remember, they, they're trying to find yeah, all of it. And get they it all. Yeah, it's oh, spreading. Man, he is. Oh! Holy <laughs> Man, this is worse than some horror movies we've seen. No, I know. This, uh, this actor is just crushing this. Don't answer, well, was, don't answer it. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. The A team with Bradley Cooper and Liam Neeson. Oh, was he? Hello? Hello? Okay? Get off the phone. Yeah. Can you stay on the line for 30 more seconds? Yes. Triangulate. Listen to me. It's all lies. I swear to you, everything he said to you is lies. I believe you because I can. I can make it the way it was if if you take me back. How? How can we go back? We need two precision drivers. <laughs> yep. See. <laughs> Oh, oh. These guys are giving up. You, you, you don't want to go to the tents. They're not better. You can take your boy. You can take all the prawns. If, if I could get you that fluid, right? Now, at this well. point... I know where we can get weapons. Oh, oh that. that's who he's going to see, the... Uh, the gang leaders. How did you do this one, man? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you better get fun, <laughs> Dude, he's going to destroy him, isn't he? Look at He's losing hair. Yeah. Thank you very much for seeing me. I would like to buy some weapons. Also see you guys have... Have alien weapons there, which is great. I could have one or two of those. We have money, okay? I've heard about you. Where do you have it? Shit. Oh. Come here. Come. Here. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, because remember they yeah. want to eat it. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, right out the door. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Crazy sonic weapon. Watch him, watch him, watch him. I had him up Boa. Boa. How did you get that? I want the fucking arm. I'm coming for you. I'm going to get you. Oh, just. Well, if that's the case, just smoke him then. My men have done this a hundred times <coughs> before. <laughs> they haven't dealt with this. No. Nope. It's going to be Dean. It's going to be quiet. Oh, nice. It's empty. The target is gone. The place is empty. That little shithead has got no idea what's coming his way. I'm gonna find him. Whoa! Oh, they well, found you. I was just gonna say, you I've don't just have been an idea. found. <laughs> there the guards! There at the gate! Watch the guards at the gate, but Oh, dude, we're just going right in. Yeah. Like no, I, lo no I love it. Planning. Oh, yeah, shit. I love it that I didn't they just know skipped that. He was that. gonna bring the other guy with him too. Yeah. Switch the live ammo, we're taking him out. We warned him not to use live ammunition. They went through my life. That doesn't oh. work for him. No. Doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> stay on, don't I call you. All right? I did stay on, don't I call you. Oh! 
Oh, well, they got a whole cache of yeah. Oh, this oh, animal. Yeah, Christopher is not gonna appreciate no. this. Uh, Any kind of a box that looks like it can hold it too. Just check that. Go, 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 go. There it is. Oh. Chris, I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he's observing. Yeah. Oh, is that is the? Is that the? That's his buddy. Probably. Yeah. We need to leave now. We gonna get out of here and run. Ah! Oh, here comes some red shirts. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh. Ooh. You gonna get us killed? Get the So get get in. Promise you we get in! We're in! What the fuck is that? That's not your makeup! He's making a ball! <laughs> Whoa! That'll work. Oh, and then he can take one of those vehicles. Get in! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Yo, Hilux! Wow! Trumpet, no! Big trumpet, no! Oh, that thing is uh, ready for some deep water for it, too. Don't drop that things! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, move! Get down there! Hurry up, they're coming! The binary command. Now, when we get up to the, to the mothership, how long is this going to take? He lied. Three years. You go home. I get fixed. Oh. Oh. No. I'll just stay here, Christopher, and I'll see you in three years' time, eh? Why can't he go with him? What is? Oh. That. Well, so what's your plan now? What a shift, dude. Your only chance. So he's gonna try to fix Rhythm. himself Easy. on the ship. No. No, Daddy needs to stay there to sort out a few things, all right? Yeah. in here, eh? Oh, he sold him out. Tell me you. You cannot be leaving Christopher behind. No way. Dude, you have no clue what you're doing. Uh, if only somebody knew how to fly it. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, no. It's going to have force fields around it. Nope. Taking a hit. Going down, boss. Should I send the boy to him up? That was the chance. Yep. Well, I guess I shouldn't expect a happy ending. Five minutes ago, my mind changed from that. Yeah, they just you'd, think that, that. you'd think that people, oh boy, they want him out of there because they yeah. want the arm. Jeez. Boxed him in. Mm -hmm. We need to walk. Back up. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 got him. Wow. Well, I wonder if those guys have more of the alien tech with. Maybe they can get fluid from them. Oh, is he gonna make a save? I wonder if he can control the ship from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. that was. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Is there a weapon system on there? Oh, look at this. Oh, you learned from his father. Oh. Does he make... Oh. Oh, it's moving. Oh, he's got the Ed 209. 
Oh! 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 Oh, it's oh, catching the that. bullets. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Answer's never grabbed my arm before. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that before. It expanded before him. <laughs> Wow! They're all trying to protect him now, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, Hop no. in. Get in the robot. Look, Look at this. Again, that robot. What a shot. Oh! Oh! Was... Eating his face? Well, something. They've been having him... They've been betting on him fighting to the yeah. death. Might as well... Get it back. You see that bull in the back of the gas bar? Yeah. He knows what the f*** is up with that ship. Who's that young gun? Who is that? Vickers is going to come out in that uh, robot here. What's your plan, huh? Dude, get in the Ed 200. 209 to Ed 209. Ed 209. Yeah. Time to make a move. How are you doing? Oh. Who's leaving that ship? Oh, it's oh. written right into his skull. Jeez. <laughs> Holy <laughs> f Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Take those shots, huh? Yeah. Come he on. just hopped four cars. Yeah. Was it three? Either way. I keep on running, you f***ing coward! He's running? Dude! Get the air support up and get on his f***ing tail now! He's not gonna talk. They're just f***ing kill him. He is... Tell me he goes back, come on. Gotta go back. He's not gonna talk. Did you see his eyes? Yeah, he just heard him. Yeah. Come on, go back there and use those toys you got. There you go! Oh! Thank you. Oh, there went the arm. Hey, come on. Get up. I'm going to get you out of here. Come on. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. Oh, no. Go back in the oh. ship. Oh. Oh. See ya. We have clearance to engage. Okay, were pure body suits just used for all the aliens? No, oh, yeah, he just I took out that whole van in one shot. Oh! Ooh, he's taking hits. Oh! oh that was a head. to the camera yeah. lens. Fire back. You go at it. You can make it. He left. Thank you, boy. And go. Go, go now before I change my mind, man. And he's sticking to it. Uh, three years. Three years. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. He's going on a fucking rampage yeah. now. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, he put himself oh! in the <laughs> splat. <laughs> Just... Oh, they had to get underneath it, and then it'll take him up right into that spot. Hopefully. All that information he's yeah. taking in so quick. Oh. Oh, 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 shit. I love all these shots that they're yeah. using, too. Got it. Got it. Oh, holy shit. Oh. I almost had him. Oh, look at him. 
Oh, oh vaporized. Still got enough left in him for that. I don't like how they just keep going back to that <laughs> and taking its time up, yeah. especially with him running around. Yeah. <laughs> There was a lot of black fluid coming out of that thing. God, this just looks like a jacked Chris Pine. Yeah. <laughs> Not as good a hair, though. It did terrible hair, of course, because he's bald, but... <clears throat> hey! Not saying he's... Bald people are terrible, I'm just saying. He <laughs> have good hair, because he has none. <laughs> Made it. Locked in. Made it. 74 hours. Now I know why everybody wants a piece of you. I can't wait for those mid boys to catch you up. You're not going to waste any more of my time. You half breed piece of shit. Oh. Oh. Stay back. Stand back. Uh, now you don't stand a chance, dude. Oh, oh, they're eating them. Boy, his head popped off real quick, didn't it? Yeah. She's a little slow starting after 20 years, but <laughs> we'll get there. First time, ladies and gentlemen, in over two decades when the mothership has shown any sign of movement. We don't know if he was simply escaping, whether he will effect a rescue plan, whether or not he'll come back and declare war on us. That's what I was just mm. going to say. This is the last known footage of Vickers van der More zany conspiracy theories state that he's been captured by by Emmanuel, by another government. You know, if we knew where he was, we would try and help him. I'm the one. Who stays behind with all the questions? He died in my mind a long time ago. Is a name that will become very, very widely known because of uh, this pivotal role that he played in this whole event. Now I looked into the computer system and I found stuff. That they didn't even do a good job of hiding it. <sighs> Yet he's still in jail. Nah, I, I love how they're doing this. 2.5 million. It continues to grow. Like, wow. Now, everyone says that his wife is an angel, but this is a real angel that you're seeing there. I found this at my front door. My friend said I should just throw it away because it's just a piece of rubbish. Uh, who do you think that came from? Yep. That couldn't possibly come from him. She just figured it out. A couple of years. It's him? There he is. Oh, that was the one that he... Uh, oh, just Remember, like remember he said oh, he, al wow. he always made her stuff. Yeah. He thought oh, it was more personal Neil than Terry. Terry. Wow. Hey, good job. <laughs> Film editor Julian Clark. Oh, hey. Good work. <laughs> you were Bravo, busy. Julian. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I was expecting to see like three people. Yeah. One it's like, yeah. no, just one. Nope. Oh, oh. Wow. Well, that's what's wild about it. their hands full, that's for sure. There's some movies, and I'm not saying this is the case for this one at all, but, uh, you know, there has been nope. some movies where you think it's like a whole bunch of people that worked on it and it turns out it was just a handful that did it like when we saw everything everywhere all at once we thought it was this massive team that did it and like yeah they had a team but uh, they reminded us that it was like done over zoom and over the internet they did everything and it was not as many people as you think went into it that made that movie now obviously i'm not saying that's the case here but wow julian you uh you crushed it and neil and Terry, wow, what a movie. Mm -hmm. I've I've never seen anything like this, uh, not even close. This is wild, this documentary style that they kind of started with and were doing it that way, but then they would kind of intermix a more traditional movie, movie. that we're used to seeing. It was just, just wildly done. I mean, it's, it's so hard to get past just the nonstop action. From the minute it started, it did not stop uh, the foot was just buried, buried the pedal right through the floor the whole way with this movie. It was, it was incredible. I mean, the, 
the action, the camera angles, like I said, the documentary style, the explosions, the innovative way of the, uh, you know, the, the technology and how they could actually, a few people could actually communicate with the aliens. They were able to understand their language and just the creativity of the aliens themselves, uh, a design that, you know, 2009 and it's 2024 and we're watching this and f- I mean, they did a good job of hiding where they needed to with the documentary style camera being a little hazy, being a little fuzzy. And then, you know, when they had to have the close ups, they looked pretty solid as far as I'm concerned. So just a brilliant, a brilliant movie with a, a just a crazy concept of, you know, what would happen if if aliens did come here and they were. I guess sort of friendly or could at least be controlled. How would we handle that? How would we work with it? And of course there's, you know, probably hours of social commentary you could have on the way things were done in this movie. Uh, so I don't, I don't need to dive too much into that. I think it's pretty much on the nose there from just about anybody to pick up, but, uh, just <laughs> like I said, just nothing I've ever seen before and very unique uh, the the actor who was the lead of, of Vickus, I or Vickers Vickus, I don't know his name, but uh, uh, Charlotto Copley. Wow, what a performance! Mm-hmm. This guy was a hundred percent just going for it the whole time. It like it never stopped for him. Every scene to, I mean. You think as an actor to like have to stop? Okay, cut. We got that one. Go back to your trailers. All right, come back an hour later, and now we're gonna do the scene. You gotta have that same level of energy that you had before. I think a lot of that sometimes gets taken for granted, and just an absolute fabulous job in here. Um, I'm not sure what kind of awards it maybe got nominated for or won, but it deserved a lot of them for sure. Uh, this was awesome. I loved it. Thank you so much for the recommendations. I loved how they did this, starting it out with a document documentary style. Like I thought this is what it was going to be, and I was going to kind of be shot like that the whole way through. And then right after, what, about 10 minutes, they went into like an actual film, and then came back in with the uh, documentary stuff at the end which was which i thought was phenomenally done even with doing the you know we moved them all to district 10 and there's 2.5 like doing that which when you watch a documentary you always want to find out all what happens you know after filming has concluded so i thought that was wonderfully done and it really really helped the movie out i mean not that i needed it because this was an interesting concept that they came to earth it ended up being that you know they had no fuel source to leave and then they kept them in these in the the district and like i don't know if i'll make a cut but i said like they're they're following laws you know they have laws i mean granted in district nine maybe those laws were a little iffy but like you had the whole people didn't like the prawns that was that's what they didn't like to be called, but then he saw like how it was all overrun in their shacks. They each had their shacks, mm-hmm. and then they were getting evicted to move to this District 10, which uh, Vegas even said to him, no, you don't want to go there. It's worse. It's smaller. Yep. It's not nearly as good as this place. We need to get you guys out of here. And I was hoping, I mean, we've seen so far, I don't think there's a sequel, but I think there needs to be one. Mm-hmm. This, I mean, it would be so fun to come back and revisit and see what's going on now and then see if uh, Christopher comes back. I love that they actually had like human names. They weren't given yeah. a- like standard alien names or they're like he was actually called Christopher. Mm-hmm. So I thought that'd be, I think it'd be great for him to come back after having that all fixed up and see if he could patch up Vickas to see if we could get him back to uh, back to human form because now we saw at the end he's he's full alien form so i'm wondering could he get it reversed all the way back to human form and here we thought too in parts what the the spray that went on in that tournament to an alien we thought it was like oh that's a weapon they're going to use against Mm -hmm. the human race no it turned out to be just fuel that happens to turn humans into aliens and so i came into this thing and the aliens were going to be the bad guys we're trying to defend ourselves against the aliens and it turns out no they, they were good they just they just wanted to leave <laughs> and it turns out that you know obviously the uh was it hmu was uh bad and mmu was the ones bad for doing this so mnu yeah so it was it was a phenomenally done movie, and I really liked how it was done. A great job with the editing for mixing and matching. We had all these 
distinctive POV views from the gone from everywhere else in between. So I thought this was a great movie from start <laughs> to the end. This movie was <laughs> with a question mark. Absolutely wild and just brilliant on so many levels. You know, anytime we've seen generally speaking adaptations of, you know, any sort of story where the aliens come to Earth, they're usually of of uh, significantly higher power. Now, of course, in this film, they had the capability to be of higher power, but they lost that when that uh, the control pod went down. I mean, it's interesting that they, you know, kind of told us the majority of them seem to be not overly intelligent, but there are some, obviously, mm -hmm. that, as we found out, Christopher, that is, which makes you wonder whether it was just Christopher or all of them were. They just didn't have, you know, the, the capability to communicate. Um, it's, I mean, look, from a science fiction standpoint, it's it's like nothing, I think, you know, Mason Quinn said, it's like nothing I've ever seen before, mm -hmm. right? The guys, you know, transforming, the military wants to use uh, their weaponry, but can't because it's biological. You have aliens who just want to get home. I mean, there's, there's so many interesting, um, you know, parts to this plot. Um, from an ethical standpoint, I mean, you could have discussions for hours mm -hmm. just on an ethical standpoint. Yep. It makes you... Look, if um, if uh, aliens were ever to come to Earth, and they didn't have the capability to outpower us, be it physical or with any sort of weaponry, I think one would, you know, tend to think there might be some experiments done on them, right? Um, and so there's that. Uh, so you have the ethical, the uh, where they were living. Why was the garbage always there? Um, could they not go and? clean it up um, or would a, a better food source or a consistent food source not be provided so I think there's a lot of ethical questions there too clearly there was an ability to communicate um, would you try to find um, work that they were good at and suitable for obviously they were incredibly physically strong mm -hmm. uh, very physically capable you had ones that could communicate very clearly so I think there's a lot of ethical discussions that could be had here as well, and that you could probably go down a, a huge, mm -hmm. a huge rabbit hole with that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if I'm being super honest, like the beginning, I kind of it's I don't know, like I thought it was interesting with like the you know the the documentary style way of shooting it, but it started really really <clears throat> slow for me. So if this was a film that I wasn't sitting down and watching, you know, I might have been like, okay, this seems a little like hokey. And no, like the it, first two minutes until yeah, they it, got but, in. Well, it's just the, the, <laughs> yes. the way the characters were, and but it just like it builds, it builds, it builds, and uh. then and then it just like completely <laughs> sucks you in, you know. Um, as far as like questions with the story writing, I wonder like, so they had all the weaponry. Um, I, I wonder, you know, because they show Christopher like leaving right and they say you know that later on we get the interview saying that he's been gone for a while i wonder if once he got back on the mothership you kind of question okay would the mothership had had or would have had any sort of weaponry that um that provided him with the capability to to lower down and have all the, the prawns get on board and then leave because it's like he kind of felt bad like they showed all the prawns and he was leaving mm -hmm. um now i feel like he's coming back you know like he's he's coming Three back years. you got to go home huh? you gotta you know you gotta go home get back to where you're coming from come back so i think he's coming back but i would have liked to have seen some sort of escape but then again we also have to understand that um you know it was uh, 20 years after a crash so you had you know over a million so with, with that number yeah, probably wouldn't million. have mm -hmm. probably wouldn't have fit on the uh well no when they initially came. oh yeah, yeah it was one and a half million yeah so you know they may not have had the capability to um to evacuate all of them um you thought they maybe would have tried to evacuate some but also again on the flip side of that um hey look if if we get on the ship and we leave asap then there's a chance where maybe we can get um, you know a rescue mm -hmm. mission going as opposed to if we get on the ship and you know we start bringing in yeah. jets and firing off nuclear weapons at the ship and or whatever heavy weaponry um, and take it down then then everybody's fate is kind of sealed so this movie was just just so brilliant for me and I look I know it's 15 years after the movie came out but you know, we, we talk a lot about, oh, does Hollywood have any good ideas left? Are there good stories? There's absolutely incredible stories, and this was one of them. I'm completely blown away by this movie. Uh, what a, what an 
incredible science fiction story. Yeah. Just amazing. I had to look it up, folks, see if there were, I mean, 2009, a lot of you put it over. The experience that we just went through, I'm like, how is there not <laughs> yeah. a second one? Especially yeah. with the way they left it off right. with these, the the last five minutes. It's like, how how would how did this not? And it looked like it profited uh, from what I saw. Like, oh, just quite a bit, thirty yeah. million globally, over two hundred some, two hundred ten some. Either way, <laughs> it looks like it made money. Yeah. Um, so I had to look it up. <laughs> Looks like it was confirmed for District 10 of earlier this year that it was going to we're going to get a second one. So mm. I hope we do. For me on this film, it, you know, I didn't know what to expect coming in. Typically, what we do, right? Because barely ever do we check in to see what we're looking or what even a synopsis is yeah. for this thing or any movie t- for that matter. Mm-hmm. But with this one for. As good as it was, it was like pretty much like you were saying, Quinn. We're pretty much doing 100 miles an hour from two minutes in <laughs> to basically the last five minutes of the film. Yeah. I felt like they could they missed some moments of just like hitting you hard with some emotional impact because there was a lot of setup mm-hmm. for those hard hitting emotional impacts. Now they did give us a little bit of emotion, right? Trying to show that you know the wife really you know really misses him. He re- is trying his damnedest to get back to her, back in regular human form. Yeah, yeah. Then, of course, we had the alien, which you kind of get attached to a little bit because the alien has the the uh, little alien. I don't, I don't know do the aliens call him kids. Who knows? I'll just go with the little alien. Well, he, in well, he did say my son. son. Okay. So, yeah. son, yeah. so yeah. we'll go with that, right? <clears throat> so you kind of develop, you know, a liking to him because he hasn't done anything wrong he's just trying to get his ship and then basically get the hell out right so 20 years they were stuck there i thought the story was absolutely fascinating with the premise of you know the ship just is here and then the aliens we help them get back on their feet but we're going to keep them in their own district and they're actually going to live by our rules yeah. <laughs> which i thought yeah, that, was kind of crazy yeah. considering there was 1.8 million of them they could have easily just ran over humanity. I think yeah. if they really wanted. Well, I to. think Maybe they could not easy, but you know they could have just came in with some F-14s and missiled the whole thing, and it would have been over if they would have or escalated. That you know that too. Um, so I'm just kind of curious. Like in the second one, are we going to get some follow-ups of the why? Mm-hmm. No, nothing else came for the aliens, right? Are we going to get uh, Victorus? Uh, I, I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but. Are we going to see him finally get turned back to human form? Or are we actually just going to go on a whole different story, you know, from a different mm-hmm. perspective now? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Either way, this whole film was just an, an intense ride. Like, the action sequences were badass. I can't wait to see, looking up some stuff after this, like, behind-the-scenes stuff. Where Was it a lot of folks in some suits just running around? Like, I, I'm looking to get a lot more detail of behind the scenes now, more so than the actual story itself, because, man, it looks like they poured a lot of soul into this film to make sure it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Like I said, just for me, it was missing just a couple components of emotion, hit, hitting hard on the emotion. But otherwise, you know, and if you didn't like it, I can, I can see why you wouldn't. You know, because maybe this type of film just wouldn't be... For somebody, you know, kind of yeah. like to what you were saying, Dave. If that beginning didn't kind of grip some folks, and then and they checked twenty out. minutes, thirty minutes, forty minutes in, they're probably not going to get super interested mm-hmm. by that time anyway. Yeah. So either way, if you loved it, great. If you didn't like it, I can understand. I actually really enjoyed it, considering I had no idea what we were stepping into. Fun. Yeah. Um, I am curious though. Did they? I feel like there were some other points too. I mean, for the most part, the story was, you know, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I mean, it was just nonstop action. It never yeah. stopped. But, like, for the the one scene that I wish was in here, even if it was just 10 seconds, and I'm curious to see what you folks are thinking, and you guys, too, the plan. Like, they just said, hey, if we go, it's there. We got to go there. And then literally almost, like, 60 seconds later, Boom! We're there. It's like and the the obviously yeah. a high secured place like MNU. 
would have had his records immediately deleted and removed. So there's no way he had his. <laughs> Well, two th- well, 2009, you know, who well, knows? They weren't well, as the thing well, with the thing, it. No, not at all. It, the it thing is, though, I think we're a high that, secure place, dude. Yeah. Security is top priority for any tech. They immediately. Aliens, boom. Dave. We're dealing with but, aliens. But also, I think. <laughs> that was humans we were dealing with. No, I'm saying the premise of the, the movie premise. is yeah. aliens coming down on Earth. I think we can look past uh, him still knowing the security code. I'm not saying that's a break all for me on that. I'm just saying. I'm just clarifying. I understand your point, but I think that's why they made a point of it to say it was like 14 hours after what happened, 15 hours, so that way they could give you a time frame. And I understand you're saying like right away, but I'm just saying if it's still within 18 hours, you lost me on that one, dude. I've seen some shit. No, they'll they'll they'll, the second you walk out the door, and we need to rewrite this. Mm. Yeah. Either way, that does not break the movie for me. Still fun. I just wish we had a little bit more of the game plan for the execution of them going there like hey this is like we we were just sh- boom we're here yeah so they're just gonna blast their way we would have like three seconds yeah. of just showing us yeah. some game plan and just blast their way in they didn't have an idea for a way out had to make a bomb on the fly and uh that's what they went with so well because christopher almost got like sidetracked because yeah. he saw what was actually happening to yeah, what they were doing comments. with them yeah and, and like i said you know the uh the social commentary could be all over this you know yes. for hours if you wanted to dive into that but just the, as a as a the, fan of just you know wild sci-fi movies that are out there uh can't believe this one slipped underneath my radar and this is one of the top tier uh sci-fi movies i think that it's been made certainly in the last 20 years for sure yeah kind of like what you guys were saying this this definitely goes deep on the social commentary right for sure. yeah there's I mean, layers look, well it's, there's, t- and it's there's tough there's too because you know it it deals with an area of the world i don't know much about so i'm not comfortable really talking yes. about it and discussing things i know as we're just scrolling through the wikipedia well, no, even there like was some notes on like things everything that there, we just see right too. i mean we're yeah. look this is we've we try to keep our reviews um I don't want to say relatively short. You know, we'll run 15, 20, 25, sometimes 30 minutes on a review. But yeah, Dave, I think I think you could have a an extensive just <laughs> dis- look. It's it's a relatively short discussion to talk about how good of a science fiction story was, the effects, the overall story, and it's uh, a, 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 I don't know hours, days, however long to talk about what sort of um, social implications this large of a an alien you know presence would have how it would be handled and all sorts of things so we don't want you to think that we're going light on the social issues here but that's something that could be discussed for all right for days and yep. days right. yeah and i think given of where it was set and where it was filmed there's people who know a lot more about what's going on that side of the world than i do so i'm not even gonna attempt to do it but when it comes to the movie, I I challenge you to do any better. It's a five for me. I do not know how you could make this movie any more amazing than what it was. And I'd like to remind everybody, it was 2009 when this came out. And there hasn't, at least that I know of, anything been made since then that uh, is, is on this movie's level. I was totally blown away. The story was amazing. Uh, you know, I love my old school aliens movies. Uh, I'm a big fan of those stuff like the thing. Yeah, I love all that, but this is, this stuff's on another level. I thought it was really well done. I've, I'll give it a four, seven, five. I thought the one part that I have my little gripe with is, uh, is with Vegas when he turns on Christopher right there above the spaceship to try and get up because of the three years. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I think... Because he did that to him, so that kind of threw me off, but then at the end he's like, go be with your son. Well, you could have already been all together in your ship. I mean, I get it that maybe you would have still got blown up a little bit, but the... The, the son figured out how to get him back up, yeah. so yeah, that see, was my I, one thing. I, I like plus that you he, that Plus, up. Christopher could have flown it and would have probably jetted right up right. there real quick. What I liked was that it just showed Vickers, 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 I think it's Vickers. Uh, he's just in a constant state of panic and run yeah. and fight or flight. He's constantly in that. He never has a chance to think straight. It's just he's just reacting to everything. And I think that's part of the beauty of this movie is that it just it never slows down. He's no. just constantly acting on impulse. He's not thinking. Because, like, what was he going to do without Christopher in the ship? Did he think he knew how to pilot it? No, but he wasn't thinking that far ahead. He wasn't thinking to step four. He was thinking step one, 
get away from these guys. What's step two? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm acting on impulse here. So, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, that's a so good anyways, point. So anyways, four, seven, five out of yeah, yeah. yeah, that scene really soured me as well. I was like, mm-hmm. dude, and if, I don't know if it's going to make the cut, but I was like, dude. <laughs> yeah. But like going yeah. back, I was thinking the f- had that started floating away, like let's say they got there two minutes earlier, he didn't panic, they start floating away, NMU shows up, MNU, NMU, Northern Michigan University, um, <laughs> Uh, MNU shows up and starts firing their rockets at it and takes it down with all three of them in it. Then and down. they go in and recover Vickers, Chris, Vicar, Vickers, Christopher, and his son. Then maybe nothing happens at all. The fact that they the the son was able to be separated from them. So yeah, I, I was I was the same emotion as the answer. Like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. But it did end up working out yep. in the end. Yeah, he got, oh, imagine he, that. It worked yeah, out. He, he got in the mecha suit I, or well, i got to be honest, dude. I thought we were. I thought this was one of those films where they're going to give you a depressing ending and say, hey, you, they, you, they can't all be winners. Oh, you're know, hoping for the mist. Like, have it be <laughs> some sort. Yeah, like yeah. the mist. Exactly. Have yeah. some sort of lesson about, you know, whatever. But this was a five for me. I don't, you know, we don't watch a ton mm. of science fiction type films on this channel not yet and it's um it's been a long time you know what the the one with tom cruise where he kept that was it that was the day oh, after uh, tomorrow no not uh the one where he kept coming back over and over edge of tomorrow we watched for the channel for yeah. me that was really brilliant but uh, you know we don't do a ton of those and nor is it really like my wheelhouse so if it's something that i felt like even we wouldn't watch for the channel i don't know that that's stuff i would see in the theater so for me like i said this is a five and i mean part of it for me was just i was not super interested in the beginning and like it's just like it got more and more and more and then by the end i was like so so invested for a movie that i didn't even know was out there this was an a plus a five answer recommendation (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny is I actually understood that situation with uh, Vickers. I know I'm probably butchering his name, but I understood yeah. why he uh, reacted the way he did because it was like you were saying, Quinn. It's you. You just we just put our lives on the line, and now you're telling me three I years. have to wait three years after yeah. the deal that I was working under. Yeah, because he was going to leave him. You were yeah. Vickers wasn't going on the ship with him. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I'm just saying like yeah, yeah. the deal that yeah, they made was. was yep, we're going to go get it. And then we're you're gonna turn me into a human like when we get to the ship, yeah. And then yeah, he, Christopher then he changed it after he got the experience that he got down at the the four story yeah. dungeon where all the experiments yeah. were. And I understand that mindset too of like, how what the how what is this yeah. like now I'm changing my mind on the fly, yep. but don't worry I'll come back <laughs> for you in three years and then then yeah. Vicarus did what he did like how how wouldn't yeah. anyone yeah because be he pissed. He probably thought he was going to be captured. They were they wanted to cut him open, take all his parts, leave nothing left of him. He he wasn't going to live three years. No, exactly. Yeah. I was just saying in the yeah. thing, he's not going to live three minutes <laughs> at this rate. <laughs> well, let's um, let's. Be I on. think he was going to go up with it. I see. I'm uh, I was on the and it was still going to take him three years. I, but it's like what's because he kept saying, oh, oh, no, no. He, he said, if, I'll if come go, back. If we for go you. back. He said, I'll come back for you. He yeah. has to go get more people first. I, more of his kind I was I was back. with the answer yeah. on that one. Like I took it as, and I know I might have missed something. I took it as like he's going up on the ship with oh, him. Yeah, no, he was You're going to chill with us for a few years. Yeah. But I also, for a minute, thought that um, that maybe Christopher just played him, like mm. completely played him. Like, look, you came in here, you were going to relocate me, uh, you were going to do this, you were going to do that. You didn't care about me until the second you found me useful. Then all of a sudden, oh hey, we can work this out together. Mm. I thought Christopher was just going to bail on him and just say, oh, yeah, I'll uh, be back, you know. <laughs> um, and, and look, who knows? I'll find you. But, um, yeah, I mean, just uh, just a crazy film, man. I feel like this is one you could just discuss forever. Yeah, and to kind of circle back to the whole fingerprint scanning profile over at MNU, I know human error, right? It's a Some f- guy... Oh, I just let me it's work fair, this out. It's, yeah, fair it's fair on your end. It's, it's fair, fair on your but end. I, I'll play this card too. I, I understand that there's human error that somebody could have got, hey, the email or the ping back in 2009 saying, hey, remove his profile immediately. Yeah, sure, boss. Get right on it. And it didn't get touched. Watching right? the news. Oh, so, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll get to <laughs> Either it. Either way, good film. I can't wait for the second one. 4.4 for me. Like I said, uh, there was a couple emotional moments that I wish they would have had in there and a couple pieces for the planning 
just even if it was four seconds of them mm -hmm. drawing something out so he could show whatever. And I do feel like on that back half, there was a couple, there was some pacing for me that was like rushed, but they brought it back down, rushed, mm -hmm. brought well, it back down. Because I'm yeah. wondering what the original fuck. cut was of this. And it was probably a good like two and a half hours. And then oh, I got, God, we got stuff left the over. Yeah. We got to cut this cut. back a little bit. You know, guys. This, there's a director's cut. I want to see it. Because, yeah. Because yeah. they might have been, well, because to that point, they might have been able to let some scenes breathe. That's the uh, yeah. only thing. But I again, I'm not hating on oh, what no, we got no, no, because no. it was like. Oh. I feel like my adrenaline was kind of going mm -hmm. quite a bit in the oh, film. The, the way they were, the the cuts yeah. and what innovative cuts yep. too that they were doing. Like yep. it was boom, 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 boom. Just good. Yeah, yeah I just I, I just loved how Vic is. He was the the way I equated. I just thought of it now. He was like an animal caught in a trap. Yes, you yeah, know, and he was just really like he was trying to get out of it, and he just doing everything, and it didn't matter. And well, there he was, was no time. He was in injected with part alien that was yeah. taking over part of his brain, making him part. And, and there was alien, no time to think of a plan alien. or or you know discuss anything or have the emotion. It was just go pure raw animalistic instinct. Oh. Incredible stuff. Man. There could have been a planning stage. They just didn't show yeah. it. You don't know that. And they could have been part of the cutting room floor. Could have yeah. been. Just, just, just have them go right was, into it. It was done off screen like uh, any boy will do. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> well, there you have it. We had so much fun watching this. Hopefully you guys did too. So for Diamond Dave, Abel, that's Miss, Mr. Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.